This is another short little tour that goes over the CD album cover the back. So this is uh, the three, the personal expression project, which is a series of three and the album cover that has to have the front, the back and the label all working together. Um, and I'm gonna go over this. I'm just on the basic uh, graphic design and the modules here. So this is the basic requirements here. The back covers exactly the same uh, dimensions here. 12 by 12, 300. The only difference is that the front cover needs six layers. That's the front cover. I'm referring to the front cover because it's all three part of the same series of uh, projects here. But there's two things for the back cover. It has to have a, a list of your songs and it needs four layers. So there's two things there, okay, that it needs. And you can actually, this is the same link to a bunch of um, examples. And you can actually see there, uh, there's a list of songs here at the back cover. It ties it in with this, um, you know, Force Awakens kind of thing, or like maybe um, this one here kind of goes along with uh, this portrait of, of this character and like the different numbers of songs there. Um, you actually look at this one. It's like the Drake has its owl logo and it kind of goes along with this. It has this owl, kind of ties it in, but it has the list of songs. Um, so we have another one here. We have this uh, Samurai as the front cover. And then they went to the Samurai and just have this same king. They du duplicated it a little bit, but they had the list of songs here. And they kind of had this smoky kind of effect in the background. So you can actually see like uh, for instance, like um, the Looney Tunes, the front cover here, basically just took the same front cover and just manipulated a little bit. Maybe this is a copy of these these three little guys here and has a list of songs. So this is not super hard. It's just the main thing is there's a re less requirement of layers and you have one of them can be your list of songs. So technically, just a list of songs and three other layers, right? So, um, so if you're willing to know how to do that, basically you can go back to Photoshop, right? And you can actually start a new file here. Uh, so if we can new file, create a new file, and you can actually call it CD back. The reason I'm naming these is because it will come in handy to know exactly which file I'm selecting, and you change it. To, width is 12, height is 12, so it's going to be square, 300, like it's preset, and then background, I'm probably going to transparent here, and then click create, okay? So it's just a black background, and you know, first you're going to click your text, and that's going to be your list of songs you're creating, you know, one through 10 kind of thing, and uh, when you got your list of songs, then you're, that can be one layer. So I'm just creating my, I'm just double clicking that, and I can choose my, one and then two. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have different songs there. So once you do that, I need to go back to the beginning there. So you'd actually create your songs there and that would actually do that. And make sure you have the songs at three different layers and that will finish up. And when you actually put them, maybe uh, save that one, you can actually go to um, save as of course, and you're gonna choose JPEG, right? And I'll just name it as CD back. Yeah. And then I would name it, and I would go back, back to my Chrome. Sorry, back to my, uh, I have to delete this here. And back to this assignment here, I can go back to my uh, start assignment and then click on upload and choose. This is the reason why a CD back comes in handy because I can know that that is exactly the file that I want to upload. That's why, that's the main reason you, you name things. So you know what you're selecting. Choose open and now I can do submit and I've got my thing submitted there, okay? And that will finish up this assignment for the CD back.